Have you ever wondered where did your boy crush go? The other day it was raining in LA, a rare occasion, and it reminded me of one of my favorite songs to listen to in the rain during middle school, and it was Thunder by EXO. And that brought back so many memories. Similar to the craze I had for BTS in high school and in college, or what the girlies are raving about nowadays, I think TXT Stray Kids 17, EXO and Big Bang were the loves of my life at the time. And I was getting judged super hard by a handful of people, including my parents, my guy friends, and... I guess that's it, my parents and my guy friends. I think my parents were just mainly concerned whether the parasocial relationship I had was healthy or not, which I will talk about. <laughs> And honestly, the middle school dudes were probably just jealous of this fantasized and packaged male romantic interest for young girls that they have absolutely no way to compare to and is unrealistic to compare to. But it just dawned on me. I haven't been following up with what's going on with my boy crushes for ages. And since you clicked in, you probably have a similar experience, whether with the same group, same person, or not. At some point, we broke up with our biggest crushes that we swore would marry. Did they do something so terribly unforgiving to be erased from the internet and our minds? Well, the iconic hotties we will talk about today ring no unfamiliarity to drama and news. The ones who went from some of the hottest celebrities in Asia to... I I don't know, we'll find out. EXO's Chris Wu and Big Bang, which IG completely removed from their website. If you think this video is only about Chris Wu and Big Bang, you're in for a treat because we will also go into the dark, dark side of cancel culture, as well as the ugly side of how not just K-pop, but global entertainment is a use and abuse consumeristic industry that both you and I are guilty of partaking as the consumers. But don't cry yet. We're about to find out what really happened to our boy crushes and where are they now? Reflecting on what made me have the biggest crush on K-pop in the first place is not only the music, the charismatic idols, but also their styles. Unique personal styles create magnetic charisma, and luckily, there's a way to build your stellar look without breaking the bank with our favorite sponsor, ThreadUp. Guys, I get so excited talking about this because ThreadUp's quality and prices are so unreal. It is legit my fashion secret. ThreadUp is one of the largest fashion resale platforms inspiring the world to think secondhand first, the smartest way to build a killer idol style. My hack is to search for my favorite brands such as Ralph Lauren and BCBG. I got this gorgeous BCBG dress estimated at $362 for just $12.34. This perfect spring skirt for just $9 as a blazer girl. Of course, we need to talk about the timeless Calvin Klein blazer at just $16. You can actually shop my favorites with the link below and use code ZOE for an extra 35% off plus free shipping your first order. Chris Wu. Before we get into the cancellation of Chris Wu, let's start with the brighter side of his rapid and promising rise. <laughs> Chris Weifun was undoubtedly the little fresh meat, xiao xie rou, of an era, which is slang that describes the new generation of young male idols with striking, handsome features. Debuted with EXO, a 12-member Korean boy band, in 2012 by SM Entertainment, the whole group's fame rose quickly with first album XOXO and breakthrough single Growl, selling over 1 million in 2014. As a true fan, of course you need to remember all 12 members. But as a true fan, of course, you need to pick favorites, which is the unfortunate picking culture in K-pop. <clears throat> My favorite was Chanyeol. My 13-year-old butt was so infatuated with his smile, his height, his voice. I legit thought I was going to marry him. 
<laughs> You'll never know. But Chris, on the other hand, was also widely popular. In fact, he was voted by many fans and even group members as the one most attractive to the opposite sex. <laughs> As the group gained more and more popularity, and as Chris's solo debuts began gaining attention, he left the group in 2014 to go independent, but his career only began to grow more, including making film debuts in China, holding first places at the Chinese box office, and began going on reality shows, <laughs> making commercials with big brands and rubbing shoulders with Hollywood. The man was rich with a period. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Chris Wu's net worth is estimated to be $9 million, which is BS. Just appearing on one of his reality shows is 80 million RMB, which is 11.2 million US dollars. If you think about all the licensing deals, his acting, his music, and so on, you can do the math. Just to get him on a TV show, the crew took Chris's mom to spend 6 million RMB or 840,000 US dollars to shop at a mall. In November 2018, Chris was thriving at the peak of his fame, with seven songs landing on the American iTunes Top 10. He later collaborated with Travis Scott and Gene Iko and played NBA All-Star Celebrity Games alongside Drake and Justin Bieber. He allegedly had a collection of 21 exotic supercars and luxury homes in Vancouver, LA, and Shanghai. When all he needed and wanted were in his hands, he burned it all to flames with a secret double life. 七月带走吴亦凡，八月全国吴亦凡，加拿大人吴亦凡涉嫌强奸罪被警方刑拘。本来以为他是个rapper，没想到竟是个rapper。Freestyle现在只有style，没有free。他前脚说如果有这类行为
pained and confused. The type of attachment they have to Chris along with the halo effect of their idol is an invisible drug. It's similar to finding out that someone you loved and trusted all your life, like a parental figure, is a Chad who sexually harasses minors. Do you painfully accept the truth and see them in a new lens or continue trusting them over everything else floating on the internet. This is both a painful and difficult dilemma because unlike a parent whom you at least have some actual in-person interactions with, there is no absolute way to tell. Now, the probability that the court, the accusers, and the rest of the canceling internet culture is right is almost 100 for the Chris case. But there is no way to guarantee that in all cases of cancellation. Cancel culture is a double-edged sword where somewhere in the heat of the crowd anger, details can be misinterpreted, magnified, or even twisted. Such as Sujin of girl group G Idol leaving the group and losing contract with their agency due to bullying accusations from past schoolmates. Neon of girl group April getting dropped from all advertisements and TV series by being accused of bullying her former groupmate Lee Hyunju. As fans, who honestly are no more than strangers to the idols, there is never a way to know whose side of the story is right. And the consequences, especially the suitable legal actions, seem justified if the wave of online cancel culture has been right about the idol. But what if it isn't? What if a misunderstanding lit by the fire of cancel culture begins the end of innocent career paths? And for the artists who do want to make a redemption, who have learned their lessons, will they ever get a second chance? Big Bang Fans are recently grappling with the discovery that YG Entertainment has removed everything related to Big Bang from its website. For those of you who might not be familiar with YG, it is one of the hottest entertainment agencies that gave birth to iconic groups like Blackpink, 21, and their biggest hit, Big Bang. From growing up alongside the boom of K-pop, I'd say Big Bang was one of the first boy band groups to reach that level of international influence prior to BTS. Big Bang debuted in 2006 and had great cultural influence east and west for way over a decade, where Rolling Stone calls K-pop legends. The first Asian faces in high fashion like Chanel, yet all of a sudden, they seem to be abandoned and erased waste literally from our vision. Did they do something so terribly unforgiving to be banished from the face of the earth? Or is it the nature of entertainment consumerism? That no matter how big the stars are, no matter how attractive and talented they are, once their talent, youth, vigor have been extracted to the fullest and consumed, they'll be tossed and forgotten. And yes, I did have the biggest crush on Top from Big Bang specifically, who we shall chat about quite a bit as he was unfortunately cancelled, just like the iconic G-Dragon. T.O.P., a rapper of the group and an actor, began his military service for a bit in 2017 before being caught smoking marijuana. In California or other states and countries where weed is legal, this seems to be no big deal. Because I live in California, whenever I see someone smoking weed, it's like seeing someone smoking a cigarette. But in South Korea and China too, it's not just taboo to smoke marijuana, it's considered degrading. And because Top was in the military when smoking, the army had to kick him out, then sentence him to 10 months in jail and probation after. Similarly, G-Dragon, once crowned the king of K-pop, was under a long scrutiny for drugs, but have been found not guilty in his ongoing drug case where his tests were negative. The impact on the allegations, however, are hard to measure. The much anticipated comeback of Big Bang in 2022 did not have the same level of impact in its prime, potentially related to the multiple scandals including Top's drug use, Sunri's tax evasion, and speculation of GD using drugs. Not long after, members such as Top, then eventually GD himself, left the group. Quote, I'm truly sorry that I disappointed my fans and the public. I would do my best to make a fresh start and not to make such a mistake again with what I've learned from this lesson, as Top said to the reporters after his sentence. But was he forgiven? 
was Big Bang forgiven? Although I don't agree with everything the idols do, a seriously dangerous trend in entertainment, but K-pop especially, is projecting a very strong image onto the idols who are also humans. And I can say that I am very much guilty of this, which was probably why that my parents weren't very fond of the idea of me being crazy over boy bands and would not ever give me a single cent to see my future husbands at their concerts. We fall in love, not with these humans as they are, but with our own imagined versions of them. We take into account every music video we watch, the films they acted in, the reality shows they join, their reactions at public events over and over. Forgetting that most of these moments have been scripted, designed, and created to sell us the perfect boys to fall in love with. But like the ideal natural beauty in film and cinema, the perfect boy love interest also does not exist. Even if we watch their cute and hot moments over and over and over, those are just glimpses of the moments in their lives. Even lived to the most authentic degree, what is a minute of camera time compared to the rest of 24 hours? The rest of the 10,080 minutes in the week. A reality show with a 24-7 camera is only cut into an hour episode per week. Who are we to say? We know this person. And when the rest of the 10,080 minutes off-camera version of a multi-dimensional human shows up, when the human side of someone who also feels a range of human emotions including anger, sadness, annoyance, when the human and idols also make mistakes, say the wrong things, do actions they regret, and end up hurting other people just like you and I, fans feel betrayed and angry. They feel like something is old. Mm. To them. Some even become anti-fans and join in on the internet bandwagon of bullying, euphemized as cancel culture, bringing justice back to the world. And some just find newly rising fresh faces to do it all over again, to romanticize the next perfect person to fall in love with, who won't fail and disappoint this time, throwing our old crush at the back of our minds like used towel. And the saddest truth is, the entertainment industry knows this, but encourages this. The idols are nothing more than just raw materials to be converted into commodities to sell to young and impressionable fans who are just discovering their interest for the opposite sex and also spending so much time online that it is so easy to combine the virtual world of idols with their realities as one. And what's the appeal of awkward teen boys when you have so many perfect men designed by the industry to choose as your crush, which will likely worsen with the advancement of AI starting to generate more options in fantasy for people of all ages. So where are the boy crushes now? Well, Chris tried to appeal for his sentence but got rejected. So unless if another appeals go through, Chris will be 46 when he is released from prison. And not sure if the photos are real, but Chris does not look like he had a smooth time in prison. Okay, side note, Lu Meizhu, the girl who started the Me Too movement for Chris, is allegedly going to star in an upcoming Chinese web drama, Young Female Genius Detective, who's getting a lot of accusations for using the scandal to get into the industry. I am not diving too deep into this, but I think it's two completely separate issues. What Chris did still stands alone as a crime. As for Dume Jul, deserving the protection from justice is one thing, but allegedly abusing the attention she's getting for her victim persona is another. Shout out to my editor Christy for pointing out this extra piece of update. Top from Big Bang is allegedly making music again after leaving YG. He seems to really care about SpaceX updates. Go Elon. Oh wait, he signed up to go to the moon with SpaceX. Very cool. And is doing some wine business. And is still big into art. I'd say he's thriving and I'm happy to see that. GD from Big Bang just left YG a hot minute ago, but he seems to have joined a new agency and is beginning to work on music again, which so many fans are happy about. And he looks pretty happy, even though it's on Instagram. But overall, not doing too bad either. As an old fan who feels like I know these people way more than I should, I still feel a little joy to know that they are happy and seemingly enjoying what they are doing. And maybe that is the brighter side 
a fan culture. So how about you? Where are your childhood celebrity crushes now? Comment below who your childhood favorite celebrity was and what videos you want to see in the future. Remember that you can get 35% off plus free shipping your first order at ThreadUp with code Zoe at the link below. Like this video for good vibes and I will see you next week.